This is my first video on YouTube and I must say I was pretty ambitious in what I wanted to show you guys. Being a makeup artist, I wanted to showcase a series of transformations with three different looks like how it is usually done in a lot of editorial beauty shoots that I do. So after toning, moisturizing and priming the face, I started with base makeup. And I usually work with cream foundation so as to match the right skin tone for the models or clients I work with. I prefer applying it with a flat foundation or concealer brush and I always go in after with a fluffy powder or blending brush or even a fluffy eyeshadow brush so as to blend out any harsh edges or even out the coverage in some areas. Kabuki brushes work the same as well I guess. And then I do the same when applying concealer under the eyes too. I also immediately set the under eye area with a colourless powder so as to prevent creasing. I then continue working with a cream highlighter on top of her cheekbones and blending it into her skin. I then moisturise her lips and proceed to applying false lashes that are still really natural looking. I then applied mascara and tight lined the eyes with black eyeliner. Afterwards, I lined the lower lash line with metallic blue liner, followed by a metallic blue liquid foil eyeshadow. And then I also blend out the harsh edges with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Next is blusher and I apply a little more than usual since we are working with harsh video lights here. I have also evened out the tones on her top eyelid and applied a shimmer powder to accentuate her lids. After that, I also applied metallic foil shadow onto her lashes liberally. As you can see, I tried using the spoolie, but I just realized that the eyeshadow wasn't coating it enough, so I just went in with a brush. Afterwards, I gave the lips an orange red color to complement the blue on her eyes. In this case, the eyebrows has to look extra strong since this is a photo shoot after all. So this is it for the first look. The second look, I drew inspiration from a thrown-out or used doll. 
The model Valness has really sweet doll features so this look really works for her. With the heavy red blush and black liner to make the model seem more doll-like. So I began stippling the red cream blush and blending out as I go. Then I use a black eyeliner like so. And this is a look that is not meant to be perfect. So I use the black eyeliner like how I would outline the entire area that I place the cream blusher. And then for the other side of her face, I varied the placement of the cream blush because I'm a sucker for asymmetry. Wasn't the second look simple? It's not meant to be perfect, so it's really fast after your base makeup has been done. Now for the third and final look. It really looks extra shimmery with all the strong lights and I love this effect. I built this look on top of the second look by applying non-latex eyelash glue onto certain areas and immediately applying iridescent foil to stick to the skin. I then applied different coloured holographic highlighters around or even sometimes on the foil and focusing this on the T-zone area, forehead and cheeks. The fun part now comes from cutting up holographic candy wrappers and randomly sticking them onto the holographic areas of her skin. In this case, a holographic lip balm was enough to make the wrapper stick. But if you are headed out, maybe to a festival or something, I suggest using the non-latex eyelash glue. I then stuck two gems near the inner corners of the eyes and applied a metallic maroon gloss on her lips and eyelids. Now she looks like an iridescent festival goddess. So, how did I do for my first video? <laughs> Special thanks to Rose for the photography and for the videography and the model wellness from Basic Models for being such a sport. <laughs>